The Circular Economy Returning Scrap Tire Rubber to New Tires Globally, we'll generate over 1 billion scrap tires this year, and more next year. Tire rubber is vulcanized and cannot be reused easily. Some are ground into rubber crumb for use on sport fields and playgrounds. Scrap tire management agencies continue to offer incentives to develop markets for scrap tire rubber, mostly in downcycled applications. Despite such efforts, we still burn over 50% of scrap tires for their energy value. In today's environment of social responsibility and sustainability, we must do better. Tyramer Inc. of Ontario, Canada uses an invention by Professor Kostas Jokinakis of the University of Waterloo, in which a small amount of inert carbon dioxide is injected into an extruder to continuously devulcanize rubber without using devulcanization chemicals or chemical solvents. The strategic focus of Tyromer is to devulcanize scrap tire rubber for reuse in tire production because the tire industry consumes 50% of the global rubber supply. Introducing an innovation in a mature industry requires a collaboration between an innovative small company and an established industry leader in the rubber industry. Airboss is a leading custom rubber compounder with a large customer base in a wide range of industries from tire rubber to mining conveyor belts. The Tyromer Airboss collaboration began with product development, testing and validation and continued with Tyromer implementing its environmentally sustainable scrap tire rubber devulcanization technology within the Airboss complex in Kitchener, Ontario. In the following video, we'll show you a circular economy in which Tyromer uses scrap tire rubber crumb to produce TDP, which Airboss uses to replace 20% of virgin material to make an OTR retread compound for retreading an OTR tire. Here you see scrap tire rubber crumb in their usual super sacks. We hang a super sack so it can discharge the crumb into a holding hopper below. The crumb in the holding hopper is conveyed, by demand, to a metering hopper, which feeds the extruder at a set rate. Here, it's at about 500 kilograms per hour. The Tyromer rubber devulcanization process does not use any chemical solvents or devulcanization chemicals. The devulcanization process is continuous and it takes less than two minutes to convert rubber crumb into an elastomeric tire-derived polymer, or TDP. As is true with extrusion, what goes in must come out. The conversion of crumb to TDP is essentially 100%. Here, the TDP is in the form of a continuous strip. It can be in other forms as well. For example, some customers prefer bales, pellets, or rolls. At Airboss, TDP is used as master batch material replacement. Previously weighed virgin ingredients are placed on a conveyor to prepare a batch of OTR retread compound. TDP is added to the batch at 20% to make up the final mix to drop into the mixer. The master batch mix comes out below in chunks called pork chops. The pork chops are milled into wigwags. The final OTR retread compound with 20% TDP is repiled into 3-inch strips specified by the customer. Cal Tires is the largest OTR retreader in Canada. As a company, Cal is committed to delivering innovation and sustainability to its customers. 
Here, an operator feeds the OTR compound with 20% TDP into an extruder to form a hot round rope to press against the buff tire for tread buildup. The same compound has been used to retread bigger OTR tires as well as solid tires. The tire is now ready to go to the cure molding machine. The operator places the tire into the molding machine for four hours of mold curing. The operator takes the hot tire out of the mold. Once cooled, the flashing will be trimmed and the retreaded OTR tire is ready for service. You have just seen how TDP was used in retreading an OTR tire. As a rubber compound, TDP can also be used in truck tires, agricultural tires, car tires, bicycle tires, and in a wide variety of rubber goods. With TDP, it is now possible to have a circular economy in the tire and rubber industry in which rubber crumb from scrap tires is converted to TDP, followed by mixing with virgin tire compound for use in tire manufacturing. Why is the use of TDP important for tire manufacturing? It takes about 25 kilowatt hours of energy to make one kilogram of virgin tire rubber. It takes about 1.2 kilowatt hours to turn one kilogram of scrap tire rubber into rubber crumb and another 0.4 kilowatt hours to devulcanize the rubber crumb to make one kilogram of TDP. By using TDP, we can save nearly 95% of the energy that is needed to make new tire rubber. With its TDP, a recycled tire rubber, Tyramer provides a socially responsible and environmentally sustainable solution for us to manage scrap tires and to conserve a large amount of energy needed to make new tire rubber. The scrap tire problem is global and requires all of us to work together to solve the problem. There will be many approaches and strategies. We can all be part of the solution. Tyramer welcomes partners and collaborators to implement its solution.